The fourth annual Dana Marshall Bernstein Courage Ball is taking place on September 30th at the Four Seasons Las Vegas Resort. The event will benefit the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and joining us now is Chapter Board President Renee Marshall and the recipient of their health care provider of the year, Lindsay Gambit. Welcome ladies. Thank Hi, you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's kind of, before we get into the ball, let's talk about what the foundation does. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation supports patients, but our primary um, function is to raise money to find a cure. So. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation has been integral in finding funds to research a cure for Crohn's and colitis. So all the commercials that you see for the drugs that are on the market for Crohn's and colitis patients, the majority of those have been funded through the foundation. Wow, because okay. there's no cure. There is no cure. Okay, so the, the, the Courage Bull Gala itself what is it? What makes it special? Like you, you, your face just lit up just uh, when, I, when I mentioned the word. So clearly, it's a big event. It's a fun event. Tell us more about it. What can people expect? And, and also, where can they where can they get tickets? Okay, so the gala. This is our fourth annual gala. It's held in honor of Dana Marshall Bernstein, who is Ed Bernstein and uh, Carrie Marshall's daughter. Dana lost her life um, at a very early age from Crohn's disease, and so we honor Dana every year at our gala. The gala is held at Four Seasons. Um, it is September 30th this year. We do still have some tickets, and I think we probably still have a table or two available also, and those can be purchased on the website at courageball.com. Wonderful. Lindsay, you're being honored this year at this event. Talk to us about what this means. Well, it's um, very humbling and it's a great honor because everything that we do at Infusion Care puts the patient at the forefront and we take care of Crohn's and colitis patients every day, so we go through that journey with them. So it's just a great honor to be rewarded with this or be awarded with this. Um, so it just means a lot to me. Everyone at Infusion Care has an evo emotionally invested interest in this cause. So we've all been impacted by someone in our family, a loved one we've lost. We've even lost patients through this journey. Um, so it means a lot to us what the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation does for these patients. They impact their lives every day. So it's just something that's really dear to my heart. So. Do, do you have to practice a speech? Do you have to get something prepared to go and speak in the evening? Is, is that something that, that comes naturally to you as well? Are, not, you, are you okay with that? Um, not really. I, get, I still do get a little nervous, but uh, we do have a video that they filmed at our center, and then um, I get to stand up at the end too and say something as well. So nice. And, and Renee, you're not you're also you're not just the board president. You also you know suffer from the disease yourself. So yes, this is clearly something that's very important for you and I, how, how, do you, how, do you how do you deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis? And so I got sick in 2010 almost mm. overnight with ulcerative colitis and had to have my entire colon removed within just a few months. Mm. So I live with what's called a J pouch and part of what Lindsay's infusion care does so beautifully is for patients like me who have a very hard time staying hydrated I go in and they give me a, an IV of um, all the good stuff with the saline and the vitamins to keep me moving and feeling really, really well. I'm a very blessed patient and that I can live my life in a pretty normal day to day, even though having your colon removed is not a complete cure for the disease because there are still some underlying things that go along with that. Inflammation, arthritis as we get older, things that... Um, affect the body in in a different way not having a colon but i'm very blessed i can get up and move every day and go many of our patients do not have that ability and that is why we're raising money to find a cure Absolutely. for those patients who have a hard time leaving their home or staying out of the hospital now yeah. renee before we go you guys have patient resources talk to us about that so the crohn's and colitis foundation not only raises money for research and to find a cure that's our primary goal mm -hmm. but we also advocate for patients um, through through helping patients with um, insurance issues, with helping them if they're not able to get their medication. Um, we also do a lot of patient education. And then one other thing that we do that I got a chance to do this year was we send kids to a camp called Camp Oasis. Mm -hmm. Talk about an humbling experience, humbling experiences to have kids that show up at camp with 
bags of medication and their own food because they're not able to eat things that it's, other it's kids really, can eat. It's really incredible to get the work that you guys yes. are doing and it's, mm -hmm. it's remarkable. So there's a, a table left or so, a few tickets for more information about the Courage Bull and all of the, their honorees, head to courageball.com.